Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Robbie Janae with Shutterstock.com. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make your very own top-down cooking videos. You've seen those social media posts, right? The ones with uh, recording videos from camera top-down, a food being cooked, you know, a steak being cooked in a cast iron pan with bubbling butter, or you know, uh, frosting being put on a cupcake. Today we're going to be showing you some very easy camera setups, basic table dressing, and how to act with your hands on camera to make your videos the most interesting you can for your social media channels. And let's get started. So our camera setup is kind of like our Frankenstein's monster of things we have around the studio. This is our C-stand with a couple sandbags on it attached to our tripod head that we actually removed from a traditional tripod. That way we can get a you know top-down shot without getting a tripod legs in there. Um, usually whenever you shoot with tripods, it's a pain to try to shoot down because either they won't tilt all the way down or it's just not gonna be stable for a good shot. Actually, there's an article below in the description about the best top-down cooking setups you can have, which would be perfect for you know people that don't have traditional setups like a C-stand or a removable tripod head. So for lighting, we actually use a really large softbox from Aperture, which gives some awesome diffused lighting for our table and makes everything evenly lit. And you're probably thinking you don't have a softbox to use. So you can do a little homemade trick of like a lamp or something like that and getting wax paper and putting over it so you can get good diffused light. Because the one thing you don't want for these videos is hard light, because you're gonna get really harsh shadows and you don't want that. So one of the biggest proponents of these videos is really good set dressing. So you don't want a dirty cooking surface because most people have that in their house already. Why would they want to watch your video if it's dirty? You want really cool, crisp, clean things to attract people to watch your videos. Now there are four things that you need to really hit. That's number one, really good coverage. Number two, close-ups. Number three, informational text. And number four, the ever important cross section. Well, that's it for this video. And uh, remember, that this build is not just for food videos. You can always use this for, you know, uh, instructional builds or product showcasing. You know, I really recommend trying out this style of video to really boost your social media engagement because these are some of the most popular videos out there. So I'm Robbie Janae with Shutterstock.com, and we'll see you next time.